dear students how are you hope all of you are fine to stay at home in the last class we have started a new chapter chapter 11 the name of the chapter is children's growing up and its obstacle in bangladesh in chapter 10 we have uh, learned about children's right and chapter 11 we will learn about children's growing up and its obstacle in bangladesh last class we have learned about what is socialization and the agent or mediums of socialization so today we have learned lesson 4 and 5 concept causes and effects of child labor child labor is a social disease it's a big problem of our country so today we i will discuss with you the concept of child labor what is child labor uh, causes of child labor and the effects on social life so firstly concept of child labor some works which are harmful to children that means these work which are harmful these are uh, dangerous and illegal works that the children children is forced to do this type of works are called child labor so if we look at our book then we can see that we often notice that many children instead uh, of going to school do different types of work again many other children do many works besides studying at school however every children has to do some works that is not harmful rather that is helpful for better living for himself and for his family so we see that many children do some works that are not help harmful but that is very helpful for the better living of their uh, their self and their family so for example a child can help the parents work or other family members by doing any work this type of work is not uh, treated as child uh, child labor but the children are uh, children are not forced to do this type of works if these types of work is uh, doing by force this is treated as child labor so if the children face with danger risk exploitation and uh, deprivation in working for earning money that is called child labor so what is which is uh, which work is treated as child labor this type of works which is harmful dangerous risky and uh, this type of works is done forcefully so this is called child labor in bangladesh child labor is prohibited but children of our country are doing domestic work in other people's house working in different mills and factories such as making churi biri cigarettes dear students uh, in our present life we can see many children who are doing many works that is not uh, that is uh, dangerous and that is risky many uh, children uh, pulling rickshaw uh, carrying uh, weighty bag uh, uh, they work as tea stall and many children are, are working as how to household works so uh, this is the child labor and children are also working in chemical factories this is very dangerous lead and uh, welding machines this is very risky uh, risky job for them many children work as helper of bus and tempo so again we can see some other children look for syllable materials from their wastes now i will discuss with you about the causes of child labor obviously poverty is the main causes for child labor and many guardians are compelled to send children to work instead of sending them to school because of economical insolvency so it is very important that poverty is a poverty has a great role for child labor and there are many other uh, causes that is lack of education natural disaster and many other uh, reasons are uh, reasons for child labor um, besides if parents are sick or separated sometimes children are compelled to earn money this is another causes of child labor and children are in household work or in brick fields as children work at low wages so it is the it is the main reason that children's uh, work at low wages they uh, do not earn many many uh, uh, many ru many so uh, it is a, another uh, reason for child labor 
because of devastating natural disaster it's a important causes that child labor that natural disaster many children drop out from school and work as child labor now effects of child labor on social life risky labor is harmful to children's physical and mental health because excessive labor they are attacked with infectious diseases various infectious diseases attack them a kind of mental recreation uh, reaction is created among the child laborers when they say see some uh, children uh, who are uh, who are same as going to school and they do not go to school they do not go to school because of their poverty so it create uh, uh, inferiority complex of them in their mind children cannot demonstrate their normal behavior so uh, child labor is another cause of uh, juvenile delinquency now we will discuss about the discuss about our attitude towards the children so our attitude towards the child workers many children of our is work in household works mills and factories or at other workplaces though they work from morning to evening they do not get two square meals daily so many a times these children do not get their due wages they are deprived from their basic rights they do not get enough food nutritious food they do not go to school so they are deprived from their basic rights many children do not know what are affection what is love what is adoration so physical and mental torture are their daily companion think the reasons for which they have become workers any one of us may fall in the same situation think about the child labor so the attitude towards child work is obviously go uh, obviously will be good and they must be given the privileges of education it is our duty it is the duty of the state to get their basic rights these children uh, should have the child rights because every children has the right if any child workers uh, works in household we have to help him or her we uh, we ourselves can do some personal works like arranging our bed arranging our table arranging uh, we can arrange the uh, dining table uh, so it is the help of the child labor who works at our house so it will lay, uh, listen the child's pressure of work if the child falls ill any time we have to show sympathy so dear students if children grow up in good environment they will be more responsible to family and society through good behavior towards these children we ourselves will become citizen with human qualities so it is our duty to uh, show sympathy and good behavior towards our child workers because they are the child like our ourselves so they have also the right that we have the right so we will also tell others to behave well with them dear students that's all for today hope you will enjoy the video you will observe uh, observe the worksheet that is uploaded by our website and obviously complete the question that is uploaded by your website so thank you